guys are new here, welcome. I'm gonna be doing a vlog today slash q and A. I I am getting ready to go meet Bailey, the queen. Um, I'm gonna introduce her later on in this video. She can introduce herself like a queen shell. I am going to be showing you guys the cutest puppy alive. It's gonna be my first time, and also my dog, Bijou's first time meeting Velvet. Um, Bailey and her husband, Chris slash Swaggy, just got a new puppy, and ah, it's so fucking cute! And we're gonna be meeting him today, and we're gonna be answering some questions that you guys wrote to me on my Instagram about relationships. We're gonna be giving you guys advice. And it goes a little something yeah. like... Getting my little doggy ready to meet his new best friend. Okay, he's taking a little shit. Because of Corona, I have to wear this freaking mask. I'm so sick and tired of Corona. Like, go away. Like, leave us alone. Oh my god, this mask always messes up my makeup. But okay, we are here. I'm in the elevator. And we're about to meet the. Okay, let's see. Hello, is it open? I am filming. Oh my god, I cannot even. I can't even. Bijou, don't attack. Oh my god, he is so tiny. What is, like, what is that? That is a toy. You. Come here. Look at him. Okay, guys, so Bijou has been a very bad boy. He peed in here because he got way too excited to meet Velvet, and he's just been going crazy, so I put him in a timeout. And Velvet is the cutest little thing. Look at him. The small. I didn't think Bijou was that big. <laughs> I know, Bijou looks like a giant now. Like, he literally looks so big. He's literally the most high. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's happy. You guys, I wish he is like smaller in person. Like in the camera, he doesn't even look that tiny. Yeah, he's small. Hey. Oh, hi. I'm getting the cutest footages of you. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. He's like teething so bad right now. So he chews on everything. Mm -hmm. Look at this tiny little paws. You know, you can tell how big a dog is going to be by their paws. Really? Yeah. How big is he going to be? Well, I don't... See, I don't, well, I don't know <laughs> how... Like, it can be tell. I don't know how to tell I it, don't know, though. But it can be tell. Telling him no, Sit. and he'd be looking... Oh, get your little booty out there. <laughs> okay, guys. So here is Bailey. Hey, Do you want to introduce yourself? Well, my name is Bailey. Um, I was on Big Brother in the Challenge. I'm Caro's relationship friend, and this is my little sweet baby Velvet. Woo! And one thing that I do want to say that um, both of us, our relationship came from reality, reality TV. TV. Oh my gosh! So that's like one thing that we have in common, and I feel mm -hmm. like those kind of relationships kind of push you in the deep deep of the relationships really quick so we have to learn things really fast especially you because you got married Woo. honey yeah we had a quick thing so christopher and i which is famous why you see on the show uh we met uh by day 23 he was kicked off the show i didn't see him again until day 100 and he proposed to me on the day that i saw him so it was like 23 days of like making him fall for me and then 77 days of him missing yeah. me and then he was like that's my feet right there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and honestly, she has helped me so much in my relationship with Ray, and I feel like it would be so great for her to answer some of your questions, and we both can give some advice. She definitely knows what she's talking about. Some questions here that you guys wrote on my Instagram, and we picked our favorite ones, although we wanted to answer so many other ones. Literally, more. like everyone. We're like, oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Exactly, but it was just so much. So hopefully, for the ones that asked the question and we didn't answer, you guys will get your answers in these ones. Okay, let's yes. go with, okay, that one. Okay, oh. first question. Okay. Would you take back a man that cheats? 
Okay, you do your answer first, and then I'll like, do my answer. No, sis. Like, no. No. For me, what I believe is once a cheater, always a cheater. I have to agree, but I'm going to provide some context. So, I always give advice to, like, girls that are younger than me that have these situations because I was once there. Like, in college, I had a guy that I dated, and he cheated on me, and I literally was like, oh, it's fine. Like, you know, I just know that he loves me, and I love him, and we can work it out, and... Girl, he cheated on me so many more times. Like, it was just such a cycle. And it, I literally was starting to think it was my fault. So, I don't think that you should put yourself into that situation. Because it provides, like, bad self-esteem. And then yeah. you can't trust that person. And if you don't yeah. have a relationship that has trust. Exactly. No, you're supposed to be together with a person that you generally trust and respects you. And if someone cheats on you, they don't they don't respect you. No. So, you don't. they don't even deserve to be, like close to you they don't even deserve to be in your circle so definitely cut that person off oh this one's so good okay so this one is is it bad to not want to be with people who aren't on the same level of success okay okay so that's T. okay honestly for me success is always a mindset absolutely okay so a lot of my um, relationship advice um, is like bib biblically backed up. So one thing that I read about a lot um, is you being equally yoked with your partner. So you have to define success as not like money or cars or oh you don't got a Lamborghini so yeah. I'm not messing with him. It's not like that. It's more like what is our vision and do we have the same yeah. like goals moving forward. So I don't think you should be with somebody that's like hey I just want to be you know this is my example in missouri doing barbecues every day when you yeah. want to live in california in a beach house yeah. like you guys have to have your goals aligned yes and then everything's okay exactly that's exactly what i believe too mm -hmm. and also let's just say with money too don't like let, let me say this a lot of girls expect their mans to be balling but they're not working like you have to make like yeah. hold yourself accountable too like if you and your man have a vision you'll have to get there together yeah. like you guys are a team no exactly and also i always think like Cause there's some um, misconceptions of girls that want a guy that's successful and mm -hmm. it's like if the girl themselves are not working to be successful themselves mm -hmm. i feel like they don't really have a right to want to have a successful guy. guy like yeah. you you are what you are like the person you attract in your life that's you like mm -hmm. it's going to be a reflection of you so it's like if you are trying to be successful i think it's you know fair to attract someone that is also trying to be successful it's like 100 percent, 100 percent. so yeah girl that's take notes but before you be judging him on his success look in the mirror yes and be asking yourself about yours exactly okay. how can i deal with my boyfriend not being as affectionate and emotional as me? <laughs> okay so guys this is me okay this is me i am very affectionate and emotional like to the extreme and i think okay this girl here, she helped me so much in my relationship because I had this issue where I'm like, oh my god, like, maybe he doesn't, like, feel the same way or blah, 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 blah. And we were having little issues because our love languages were a little different. Um, and you can touch on that because it has a lot to do with your love language and your partner's love language. Yes. Okay, so the first things first, you have to know how to speak your partner's, like, language and sometimes it's affection and sometimes it's compliments sometimes it's quality time there's so many things there's five love languages um if you haven't taken the quiz you totally should but her love language and ray's love language are different and it's funny because i have the same love language as ray and she has the same love language as chris so the words of affirmation are big she wants to hear compliments mm -hmm. she wants to know she's pretty she wants to know she's appreciated and so did chris and i'm like yeah. but i just made you breakfast so why are you mad but we didn't speak the same language yeah. so i'm not as affectionate as he is in that way but in other ways we are so now that i know that carol's love language is words of affirmation yeah. even as her friend i'm like hyping her up under her pictures i'm like yes yeah. you better work you know because that's how she feels love so yeah you have to say if i'm going to be in a relationship with someone let me love them the way that they want to be loved yeah and so if your partner is not as affectionate as you are communicate and say babe this really means a lot to me and then he or she will make the adjustment and they'll start loving you that way and you'll yeah. feel, feel so much better no, exactly. And I think that was one thing that helped my relationship so much, just understanding how Ray loves and how I love. And we both could just figure out how to make each other feel more loved. Yeah. So, like, with Ray, like, one of his... Um, 
is acts of service. Yeah, acts of service. Yeah. So for me, I I don't love that way, but it's because I love him. I want to do these things. So now, but you did a great job. So for Ray's birthday, Carol made him a video of all of his friends, yes. and that meant so much to him because. She did something for him. So yeah. it was like, oh, he felt like, oh my gosh, she yeah. really cares about me. She did all this work and she like put it together. Mm -hmm. So it is. Like you do things like that. Yeah, he was so happy. Yeah. So happy. But anyways, that's our advice to you. Just talk to him. Take the quiz. Mm -hmm. I can put the link in the description for yeah. the quiz. And then you both should take it and talk about it. What? Do you want to read that one? What do you do if your partner breaks trust, but both of you want to work on it? <laughs> Okay, so I'll, okay, I'll take this one from the top. Okay, so one thing I will say is that you answered your question in the second half of your question. So both of you want to work on it. Mm -hmm. One of you guys broke trust in the relationship, which happens sometimes. Yeah. Now, I hope it wasn't cheating, but yeah. maybe it could have been like, I don't know, a message or maybe, you know, just something wasn't right. Yeah. But if you both want to work on it, communication is key. Both of you guys need to forgive each other. And once you make up this decision to forgive, that's it. So if yeah. you say, okay, I love you, let's move on. Don't be like, but you just did this to me if I'm, don't like, don't throw that back in yeah. your face. You have to agree to move forward. Exactly. Yeah. Cause if you keep bringing the past, like you're bringing that energy forward. So that I like that you said that to not like throw it in their face. Just yeah. like, let it go. Wait, was the person, did the other person break the trust? They broke trust. So, so what did you their do? Partner, partner broke the, trust. Okay. So you just have to see is the is your partner actually making an effort? Self it! <laughs> Sorry y'all, my dog has no home training yet, so I just ignore him. <laughs> um is the person making an effort? If the person is not making an effort, then like you guys, yeah, you guys might need to take a break and separate. Yeah. But if you guys are both still in love and you both want to work on it, sooner than later, heal that. You know? Because yeah. if you want to be together, you don't want to let things linger. Like, exactly. Go ahead and work it out and be in love. Biju is hiding from Velvet. Oh. Um, okay. How to not become super dependent on mm. your partner. Okay, I love this one. This because... one's like good for both of us because reality tv makes it to where we're like very dependent on our people oh my god yes. Yosa, oh Yosa my god that? yes okay like me and swaggy were together 24 7 for our whole relationship so like especially now that like he's back to work and he's doing his own thing mm -hmm. i'm like wait hold on baby but i need you <laughs> baby can you come find the remote like it's everything i need him for so. okay i felt like i was the only one <laughs> no. okay good to know i'm not the only one um but yeah like for me i become super like dependent or emotionally attached and it's like if if my partner's not giving me the attention that i feel like i want i'm just like why like you yeah. let me like i get so i take it so sensitive but i feel like for me what helps is literally just focusing on my my own thing just mm -hmm. making sure you're having a vision for yourself for your life just setting goals because yeah. when you're focusing on doing your own thing and you have a schedule every day your energy is going to be put on there and it's <laughs> sorry my dog's <laughs> children continue this is a great point and then, yeah because then your energy and focus is going to be on you know like working towards your vision and your goals and that's going to also make you so much more like attractive to your partner like that you know yeah. and it's gonna make you feel even better and when you feel even better you can show up better in your relationship and i think it just helps you distract from like oh is my partner giving me this or is is he giving me the attention i want you're like not focused on that you're focusing on your own like thing mm -hmm. and that that's what helps me personally just like setting my to do your goals yeah i would agree completely so i'm not gonna repeat what she's saying i'm just gonna add and say that a relationship is when two whole people come together it's not oh he's my other half and i need no 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 you're whole by yourself sis so be whole function on your own because without swaggy in my life i was still a person i was working i was doing my thing and he was too so allow him to live a separate life mm -hmm. and then come together and make yes. each other better people yes i love that i love that yeah. i'm definitely gonna put that quote up here somewhere <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah this one okay this one. this one i really wanted to do this one so it is i am scared of love because of sexual assault that i went through as a kid any advice and so when we chose this one um 
I specifically wanted to touch on this because I had a sexual assault story when I was younger and it really did a lot of damage to me and my self-esteem, um, especially when it comes to intimacy. I had partners that I would, you know, be okay with being intimate with, but I would never emotionally let them in and that was really hard. Yeah. So I would say stop and actually reflect on the inside. There's a lot of things that's going on internally that you have to deal with and get through in order to heal. So forgiveness is the biggest one. Forgive yourself, forgive the person that did things to you, even if you know, you're know you so angry with them. Anger is an emotion, but forgiveness is a feeling. So go ahead and let that go in order to connect to the people that actually do love you. You shouldn't punish the partner that you're with because of something somebody's done in the past. Mm -hmm. So start letting things go, start learning to heal start loving yourself affirmations in the mirror mm. are like number one thing um and then counseling if you haven't gone to counseling if you haven't told anybody about it do that talk mm. it through because you don't want to let something that happened to you when you're a kid affect you until the day you die yeah i love that do you have it on your youtube yeah, I have a stuff. Yes, if you want to go look at my YouTube, I have um, a video that shares my sexual assault story and just kind of my emotions that I go through. So if you want to mm -hmm. chat it or even you want to direct message me and tell me you saw it, I'll be more than happy to help. Yeah, guys, check it out. I'm going to put it on the description so you guys yeah. can watch that video. You know, yeah. It, no, this is really good that, that you're sharing this because a lot of girls probably like mm -hmm. go through that. Go through this yeah. and people don't really like talk about it that much. And I think it's so important because, you know, you guys are your own support group, but just talking and allowing people to know, like, how you overcame it will help yeah. them, too. And you know what? I just had an idea. I'm also going to eventually write a book because I was thinking there's yes. no, like, rule book for this. Like, whenever yes. I've been trying to get through this, I'm like, why has anybody not written about this? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, you thank definitely you for that. should. Yeah, that'll be good. Aw, like that. yes. That's great. Okay, so now there's a question that's similar to that one yeah in a different aspect so okay. go ahead. i have just left an abusive relationship yesterday what can i do to heal myself mentally mm -hmm. and like you said everyone has been in abusive relationships somehow yes you know i personally before we i was in an abusive relationship and it it was like uh, for me it was because i wasn't okay myself mm. and i think that's like one thing that i've learned and I'm going to put this quote that I put on Woman Prosper here, but it was like, your relationship is like a reflection of you. Ooh. See, when I left that abusive relationship, I knew I had a lot of healing to do. Yeah. I knew I had a lot of self-love to do because I wasn't feeling whole. I wasn't feeling, you know, like I love myself. I didn't respect myself enough because, you know, I got to that point. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, like my advice to you to like heal is just really focus on your self-love journey. And if that means like just taking a break from dating love or even some certain people in your life do that and i think healing is not supposed to be like this beautiful process it's going to be painful it's going to yeah. feel bad mm -hmm. but you just have to go through with it and allow yourself to cry release negative emotions talk to someone if you have to mm -hmm. just let everything out because i feel like if you suppress everything and you just pretend like everything is okay and you keep moving on with your life you're going to carry that energy with you so just Try to release it somehow. Yeah, the sooner the better. Do you have any tips on how to like release it? Um, meditation. So I am a certified yoga teacher and I love to Woo! meditate. Yes. yes. So I had an abusive relationship in college. Um, same boy that was cheating on me. What I learned about myself is that I am a people pleaser and I have a desire to fix things that are broken because I was broken. So if you are trying to fix mm -hmm. your partner, you are not his messiah yeah. or her messiah. Um, it's not your job. You have to fix yeah. yourself first. So I would just suggest self-healing and that like meditate on yeah. things, manifest. So mm -hmm. I love vision boards. Once you get out of a, yes. a relationship that's not good for you, you need to look at yourself and you say, okay, let me focus on me. What do I mm -hmm. want out of life? And then put that on a poster, manifest over it, meditate, do some yoga, and then keep moving forward. And it's an everyday thing. They call it a practice for a reason because you need to continue to do yeah. these things. So every day you're not going to feel the best. You might have a great day meditating. The next day you might feel terrible. Keep coming back to that practice yeah. because eventually you'll wake up and you'll notice, oh, I'm feeling weird today. I wonder why. Let me adjust my adjust my thoughts. I keep coming back to this because every day is going to be different. But once you start recognizing when your thoughts go south, you can easily redirect them. Yeah. 
I love this. I yeah. love this so much. It's been good. Yeah, and you guys should check out her channel because she's definitely gonna be posting more videos about, you know, like self love and yeah. all that. I wanna do uh, a time where we just talk about like things that actually we never get to talk about. So yeah. we'll do some videos where we can actually discuss things. You guys can submit your ideas and we'll definitely do some more me and Carol videos yes. because so, I like this dynamic. Yes. So. Okay. No, yeah, we just like talking to you guys. We love this whole girl talk. I want this to feel like a community. I want you guys to actually interact. So go in the comments, like write what you guys think, write your advice. Just write anything that you want to let out in your chest. I just want this to be a community, you know, yeah. not just like a monologue where we're just talking, you guys are just watching. Like we want conversation. So go ahead and comment below your thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, but this is it for this video. Um, and I really hope you guys like it. I really enjoyed doing this video with her and hopefully we're gonna do more soon Okay, yeah. and if you guys have any ideas of what we should do again comment down below mm -hmm. and we're gonna read them And make sure you like and subscribe to this channel Uh-huh, uh -huh. and then follow Bay on Instagram. Do you okay. guys want to say your handle? It's Bay Day with two eyes on both <laughs> I'm gonna have it right here so you guys can go follow her and if you guys found me here on YouTube, go follow me too. Okay. Okay, Kara V on Instagram. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.